All right, now the next step in this process, this is video three, full in its entirety. I've pulled the pieces off of the uh, bus bars in the back to get it ready. And I went ahead and put the uh, terminals on one end of all of these wires. Now, every one of these is equal length. Uh, the negatives are longer. For now, the uh, uh, positives are shorter. The positive is in the back of the, uh, the uh, battery box. And all the negatives are up front. And uh, currently, we're not going to worry about terminals on these because when I put them in their and their ANL fuses, the fuse can handle this size wire, and I'll just cut it, and it has it has clamps on both ends of it instead of terminals, so we'll be using that. Now, the process I've got here is because I want the holes tight to keep the hydrogen gas in so it takes very little caulk or any sealant, I have a 4x4 sitting out here, and the crimper will go on the 4x4, so I'm going to pull these wires through, come out the side, put their terminal on, have every one of them done and we're going to hook up the positives first inside the battery and I'll get you that here coming up next you'll see these all completely made up all right and now we have went ahead and we got in our uh, all our positives and remember these are equally linked so all of these are the same length and uh, they look longer than they are but they're all the same length and the negatives are all brought up and just hung into place right now and this is kind of what it looks like. So you'll see that some of these runs are folded back. Some of them are almost exactly our exact run back. And like this one here, it's just a straight run back up in the top, coming out the top. Every one of them is matched to their location on the battery bank. Now out here, you have all the negatives. And originally I thought the negatives were going to be longer than they are, and they're actually not. Um, they're uh, just barely four foot long and don't worry at four foot I'm not trying to run an inverter on one cable uh, these are just battery supplies so all of them are going to go across here and then we're going to put the center links in and I've got one in right now so you can see how that's going to look so this next project is put the terminal zone out here and I just use a four before with a uh, terminal crimper and we'll have that installed here shortly and bit to see the finished product both sides and everything else on it and then I've got a meter going in right there all right and now we've got all the batteries we went ahead and linked them all together and these cables end up being three foot ten and um, those cables over there end up being three foot one and it's because of their uh, where they're going at so all of them are hooked up and all the in intermediate cables are hooked up so we're completely wired now these cables are not going to be sitting here just hanging they actually have a board going across like i said in another video and they will be lashed off the board will actually go underneath they'll go on top of it and trace to the back and go and go to their location over here so at this point right now we have all the negatives hooked up and all the positives hooked up all right and now we have it wrapped up literally and there's the bar in the center it is a little recessed from the top all the ground wires are nice and neatly put on it and the positives all of these wires are equal length so delivery of amperage is perfect i'm only going to be pulling 200 to 220 maybe 250 uh, well, well, 250 will blow a fuse. Later, we're going to cut these and install fuses along here, ANLs with the uh, uh, one gauge clamp on them. So, still got to paint the top of it to make the door nice and solid. There'll be a pad put in right in the middle up in here, right in here, in probably two places so that the door doesn't get damaged if anybody lays something on it. The uh, width of the box or the depth of the box to give you an idea here is 25 and a half inches its internal is 54 inches inside in the front half of the box it is 20 inches deep there and in the back it is 24 and a quarter back there. 
So, and you'll get to see the finished setup up top up here. Of course, we have now the gauge on it and it is sitting static the way that I received the batteries. So I'd say 12.85 is more consistent than 8.6 and there it is. Pretty good setup. So we're going to be coming off of this. We've got a board, like I say earlier, that's going to go across the whole top about a foot above this encapsulating all of that with a hatchet in the back to close all that off and a cover that'll drop down on this um, on each one of these here but not over the gauge so there it is that's a completed power box seven times 370 amps and let's get a close-up right here very high power good and balanced and ready to roll.